it is absolutely brutal. And um, from what I can remember, my mom had all these emotional moments after I left China and she was cleaning the house. And she says she gathered my paperwork, my notebook, my exams. It was taller than she is. She's, she's five <sighs> three. What, how it felt to be a Chinese student uh, studying and living in the US is that certain subjects came so easy to us. I should probably get some of the math problems wrong so that other people <laughs> find me more relatable. <laughs> so I could make more friends. Uh, and in, when it comes to school, I, you know, in China, it's true that A minus is Asian F, right? <laughs> it, uh, it's really fascinating. I remember I, I was really good in English classes and, and I would get like a 97 out of 100 on my exam. But in China, you're supposed to say, oh, where did those three points go? Why couldn't you do oh, better? Wow. It, puzzling and also challenging to me is what is the right way to be as a Chinese person living in America? And I don't mean American born Chinese, but if you come over here, what is the right behavior? What is unacceptable? Like, what don't you want to do? So for example, one thing I told all the kids, just like, do not ever spit on the floor. In China, if you want to express how much you're enjoying the food, right, you have to make really loud noises. The hosts would love that. But wow. immediately, this, this girl, I, I remember having this like, oh, do I tell her? Like, people are already thinking, you know, kids could say or do anything at the school or making fun of her a little bit. It's like, do I tell her? How do I approach her? And mm. There are a lot of these decisions you have to make as mm -hmm. adults and dealing with conflicts and difficult conversations, right? Trying to do the right thing. I think I was ready when I was 26 or 27. I waited until I was 31 because I needed a green card to do that. Wow. So um, what motivated me was uh, after a few years of working in my mid, mid towards late 20s, I knew I always instinctively, I knew I wasn't interested in climbing the corporate ladder at all. I didn't.